Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Aloha, coolest stuff on the planet listeners. I'm Catherine. And I'm Rachel. And guess where we're headed today? We're back in the South Pacific, but this time we're going to go to Mauna Kea Volcano. This is the tallest volcano in Hawaii, and it's actually the highest point in the Pacific Basin. So you find it on the big highland of Hawaii, and technically it is the tallest mountain in the world. In terms of altitude, it's not as high as um, Mount Everest. Right. But if you measure it from the ocean floor all the way to the summit, it is taller. And um, also a cool fact, its summit is above 40% of the Earth's atmosphere. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing, yeah. That, that's that's pretty high. Today, the real significance with it is it's used as an astronomical site. It's said to be one of the best in the world, and uh, there are a couple reasons for that. One, because um, it's so high, there's kind of a cloud layer below the summit, which protects the top from all the moisture from below. So it's very dry, very clear. Mm -hmm. um, pollutants don't get through. Another reason is because um, there's no real light pollution from the cities, again, because it's, it's so, so high. sort of isolated. Yeah, and in fact, they have the world's largest astronomical observatory on the top with uh, telescopes from 11 different countries. The combined light gathering power from the telescopes is 60 times greater than that of the Hubble Space Telescope. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, they have the world's largest telescope there, which is the Keck Telescope. Aside from the, the astronomical angle, which is pretty cool, mm -hmm. even uh, if you just want to go up the mountain, that's pretty interesting because this major altitude, if you're going to ascend the mountain, you have to take some, some precautions before you go up. So it's pretty low oxygen, low pressure environment up there, right? Mm -hmm. They say before you go, um, you shouldn't go scuba diving within 24 hours of going up because you could get the bends huh. because of the pressure difference. Yeah. Also, they say like don't drink gas producing foods and drinks, um, don't smoke, things like that, just because your body is going to need all the oxygen and pressure that it can get when you're up there. Wow. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting because there's snow on the top of the mountain. And in fact, the word Mauna Kea means white mountain because of the snow on the top. People do go there to ski and snowboard, but the Hawaii Ski Club, for one, says that it's not really a good idea to do that. Oh no, how come? Because actually, it's not really set up for that. The atmosphere up there is very thin, as you said, so right. that would not make it very safe for skiing. And there's no ski lift. So basically, you go up in a four-wheel drive, that ski down, you know, have to pick up and do it again. And because a lot of times the snow cover is very thin, so there have been times when people skied on it and then they hit lava rocks and oh, really hurt themselves. Kind so of a deterrent. Yeah. Kind of a deterrent, <laughs> yeah. So, so that would be one that you probably would not want to do. Wow. Yeah. In addition to um, all these things, sort of recreational and astronomical that you can do up there. Mauna Kea has a very significant cultural role in mm -hmm. Hawaii. Isn't that right, Catherine? It has a lot of significance in, in uh, early Hawaiian culture. Early Polynesians believed that the highest points were the most sacred. And so, you know, that summit area was actually limited to priests. And there are a lot of shrines up there. You know, one question that obviously comes in your mind when you're dealing with something like Mauna Kea is, you know, will it ever erupt again? Yeah, it's probably a good question, especially if you're climbing up it. <laughs> yeah. Or you're, maybe you're working up there. Yeah, yeah. If what you're are an the astronomer. odds? Mm -hmm. It's possible. Mauna Kea is, I mean, it is technically dormant, and it's sort of in a stage geologically where it doesn't erupt very often, mm -hmm. but chances are good that one day it probably will. But what I thought was interesting, because we were talking about, I wonder if they monitor that sort of activity, mm -hmm. you know, just to make sure. The telescopes are so sensitive that they can detect small movements from, say, if there were like a series of small earthquakes that would sort of signal an eruption. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So in addition to whatever other initiatives they might have, the telescopes could be handy in could that way handy. too. Right. So. Yeah, and they don't know exactly when that may be. No. Oh. Well, hopefully I'm not around when it happens. I'm not on the mountain, I should say. Yeah. If you'd like to know more about Mauna Kea, check out our blog and how stuff works for more information on Hawaii. And aloha, and we'll see you next time for more Coolest Stuff. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes. <laughs>